How's it going there YouTube? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and today is Triple T Terminal Tip Tuesday. We got an awesome terminal tip today. It works excellent if you don't use the dashboard. Now, dashboard was released in OS 10 way back when, and it was when it was announced, it was actually a really, really cool utility. It put all of these widgets at the tip of your fingers. You had your calendar, you had a, you know, a calculator, you had your mail, you had all these other widgets. You had, you know, there were tons of widgets that were developed for dashboard and people used them. People loved them. Um, once it had kind of evolved, and by that I mean two weeks, uh, remember iTunes Ping? It was cool. for the. It was like the cool factor. It wasn't actually uh, a useful utility. Now, I'm careful to say that because some people do love Dashboard. And if you do, continue to use it. I used it for a while and I didn't mind it at all. I just didn't use it enough to justify the CPU that it sucks out of your machine. Even when it's idle, even when it's not running, even if you've never used it before, it can suck anywhere from 1% to 8% out of your CPU. Now, 1% doesn't sound like a lot, but 1% for something I will never touch? Eh, you know, why not get that percent back? And for some people on my machine, it takes as much as 4%. So, you know, 4%, again, is quite a bit. That's not something you want just being wasted away because you don't use dashboard. So I'm going to show you with the handy uh, tip of terminal. <laughs> this is a terrible day, guys. Uh, with the handy application and versatility of terminal, I will show you how to disable dashboard. So you got to escape the dashboard and uh, you have to open terminal. If you've never opened terminal before, you can just do a spotlight search for it or you can find it under uh, your applications menu under the utilities section. I'm going to use Alfred to launch it and uh, here we go. This is our terminal window. It's uh, very basic, very simple and uh, this is what we're going to enter. We're going to type a command in that essentially creates, uh, creates two variables, true and false. And uh, we are going to then disable or disconnect dashboard. So all you have to do, and the command is below, you can type it out by hand if you want, but you don't have to. Uh, just paste this command. It's defaults right com.apple.dashboard uh, mcx minus disabled minus boolean, which is our variable creator. And uh, our variable is yes or true. So we say yes, disable it which is a little bit counterintuitive, but uh, we're going to then press execute or return or enter, what have you. And it looks like nothing happened, but the terminal uh, command did run through. If that next line goes, you know that you're in good business, in good hands, and you're going to need to restart the dock. Uh, this is where the terminal launcher, excuse me, this is where the dashboard launcher exists in the dock. So when you kill the dock, that essentially restarts the dock part of the OS saying, okay, now app apply that command. Now granted, you could reboot your OS if you chose to do so. You could restart your Mac, but if you type kill all doc, it does the same thing. So once you've typed kill all doc, uh, try hitting the dashboard button. You'll notice that it does not pop up. You can close terminal, continue on through your day. As many times as you press that button, it will not come up. So if you don't use dashboard, this is an excellent utility and an excellent command that you can enter into terminal because it can get you that extra CPU back that you kind of want and that terminal is sucking away. So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.